I wanted to share some of my choices for historical settings in upcoming CRPGs. Whether it's an isometric turn-based CRPG, a party CRPG, a third person, first person, whether they use a certain pen and paper rule set, whatever. These are just historical settings I would like to see in future CRPGs. And I'm not talking about fantasy. I could go on forever about that. And I'm strictly talking about CRPGs. Let's get started. The first setting is France during the Napoleonic era. If I could only study a certain amount of historical eras, time periods, whatever you want to call them, two of those periods would be the French Revolution and Napoleon's rule over France. Napoleon is a fascinating figure in history. I love reading about Napoleon. His life is very interesting, even before he became Emperor of France. Just look at his rise to power during the French Revolution. If you read about the French Revolution, France was quite a clusterfuck around that time. They weren't any better before with monarchs and kings, but it was just a gigantic clusterfuck, the French Revolution. Very interesting to read about. It's one of my favorite time periods in history, but goddamn a lot of stuff went on. The Jacobins, led by Maximilian Robespierre, I think I fucked that name up, but whatever. They fucked things up. Just look at the reign of terror. France was also at war with so many countries during this time, the Holy Roman Empire and Great Britain just to name a few. And not only that, civil wars too. There's a lot more to the story. I've only told you a small part of it. I recommend doing some research on it. There's a bunch more that happened after Robin Spire was executed. And there are a lot more groups at play other than the Jacobins and Maximilian. There's just a bunch more. I, I can't explain it all in one video. It would take me so long. I suggest reading some books about that time or read some of the writings of the players involved. During this time, Napoleon rose from just a regular soldier to commander to eventually make himself Emperor of France. Then he was exiled. Then he came back and ruled again. Well, only for a couple of months. But still, that's pretty badass to come back after being exiled and take power again. I would love to see a CRPG set during the later years of the French Revolution through Napoleon's rule. He built an empire but didn't rule for long, only 10 years and some change. So it's possible to make a CRPG that spans throughout his reign. It may have been a short reign but there is so much material to work with. The Napoleonic Wars, how he changed French society and how they reacted to it. And not just French society, a bunch of other societies too. One example, the Napoleonic Code was used in many countries outside of France for years and years and years. It's very influential and his battle plans and tactics are studied by generals and people that study war still today. He's a very influential figure in history. I can't explain it all but that's just some of it. Before we move on to the next setting, I have to say this. Did you know that one of the prominent figures during the French Revolution was a man named Saint Just? Yes, his name was Saint Just. I think that's a cool fucking name. And that's definitely going to be one of the more unique names in history. If you think about it, that sounds like a name you'll read in a comic book. Introducing Saint Just. Fighting crime, one political philosophy at a time, and one book at a time. Just don't put... A lot of people threw guillotines that probably didn't deserve it, and you'll make a decent hero, I think. Saint Just. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's move on. The next setting is the early years of the Meiji era in Japan. This is a time period where Japan moved towards becoming a more modern society. They got away from the feudal system, and they worked on what would eventually become an empire. The most interesting thing about the early years of this time period for me is the role of the samurai. The samurai class obviously has been an important part of Japanese history for so long. For a long period of time, they were prestigious, prominent, and had an important role in Japanese society. But when Meiji the Great comes into power, that's not the case. The samurai class lost their social status, influence, and privileges, and a lot of interesting things come into play. Certain domains and clans side with the new government, others rebel against it. And the dissatisfaction from the samurai eventually leads to the Satsuma Rebellion, where angry samurai rebelled against the government and lost. There's a lot of things that happened during the early years of this era, and if some developer can just make a CRPG set during this time, where you can play as a samurai or maybe a member of the new government, and see how society goes from being feudal to the early stages of what it would become, 
I think that would be a great setting for a CRPG. I personally want to play as a samurai and see how his status in society changes and what you must do to survive. But I would love to see a future CRPG be set in any time period where samurai were relevant. This could be the 1400s, 1500s, 1600s, whatever. Just give me a samurai CRPG. Moving on. The last time period I'm talking about in this video is 1930s New York. Specifically the New York underworld. That's right, the mafia. People like studying controversial figures, bad boys, mobsters, gangsters, whatever you want to call them, but they're interesting to study. And this is a time period that's very interesting for the Mafia, especially in New York. You have groups like Murder Inc. running around, Mob Wars, The Commission. This is a time where the Mafia becomes more organized, more structured, and they become a bigger powerhouse. As if they weren't already a powerhouse before, but you know what I mean. I mean, the Mafia had a lot of influence back in the day. During World War II, the Mafia, New York, they worked with the U.S. government. Yeah, that means you have a lot of influence. Now, I know that we've seen a bunch of Mafia games over the years and games set during this time period, but I would love to see a CRPG set during this time. It could be an isometric, top-down, turn-based CRPG, or a game like Gothic, or a game that plays like Vampire to Masquerade Bloodlines. I mean, think about it. If you get someone that can do it right, I would love to see a CRPG in this setting. I just, I don't know how it would be done because I'm not a game developer, but someone has to do it. I mean, come on. This is a time period where groups like Murder, Inc. are running around. One of the guys is called Albert Mad Hatter Anastasia. And one of the people in that group, his nickname was Shadow. Come on, dude. This is just an interesting time period. I don't care if the setting's been used before. Damn near a lot of settings have been used. We just need a Mafia CRPG. 1930s New York or 1940s whatever. Someone has to do it. Thank you for watching this video. I may make part 2 to this because there's other historical settings I want to talk about. Let me know what you think. And let me know what historical settings you would like to see in future CRPGs. Have a great day.